Beauty ridiculous and I'm so good I'm shivering Hey guys, it's me, Moni. Long time no see. <laughs> so freaking cheesy. Oh wait, I want you guys a little higher. How can I prop you up? Okay, yes. This should be better. Welcome to 2022 on my channel. It's been a minute. Sorry I've been gone. I just am in a place like if I can't give videos with substance, I'm just not going to do it. Um... I kind of sort of have figured out what works for my channel, <sighs> kind of, so I'm going to try to um, stick to it and if it's not important, I'm not going to do it, but I got highlights and I got my hair pressed out, so um, I just wanted to check in, like a hair slash check in video. Um, my hair has been straight since January 20, I mean, sorry, December 28th, I got my hair done. I got highlights and I got it pressed in the same sitting. Um, I'll tag or I'll put, um, my friend who did my hair, her hair page on here. Um, but it's now January January 29th so I had my hair straight for a month actually a month and a day and I am going to revert back to my curls as soon as I come back from Houston because I don't feel like doing my hair in its curly state while I'm there I figure it'll be easier to do my hair if it's straight so I'm gonna add heat to it this is the first time I've added heat to it since I got it done so this is literally a month's worth of straightening. I've been wrapping my hair and uh, occasionally putting oil in it, but I have not, oh, this is gonna come out. I have not added any heat to it since, since I got it done the first time. I have this Miel Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil infused with biotin. Oh. I'm going to put that on my scalp. I also have this Miel um, Moisturizing Scalp Treatment. But I'm just going to stick to the little droppies. So. Put that in there. At first, when I first got my hair pressed out. Oh, and also I have this Tymo Ring Hair Straightening Comb. So it's a comb. And it has uh, five settings. It's set on number three right now. So I don't want to add too much heat. I really want to focus on my roots because that's what's puffy. My actual hair has done pretty good holding up, but my roots are a mess. There we go. Okay, so this week I have work, right? I work all 50 of my jobs. <laughs> I feel like um, everybody hates Chris when the mom... I haven't watched that show in so long, but it's just like memory. So I, I forget Rochelle, right? Her name is Rochelle. She's like, my man works three jobs. I don't need this. <laughs> That's me. I'm the man, though. Um, so I have to go to work every day this week, almost every day this week. Um... But Thursday, after I teach my dance classes, I'm going to get in the car and drive from Philly to New York. Um, and I'll probably have to stop and get some Wild Wild Coffee because I believe that they put crack in there. And that will keep me up and wired. <laughs> so, I'm going to take a drive to my little sister's house. Um... She, so two of my line sisters and two of their friends, I think that's five of us that's going on this trip, we're going to Houston for the weekend, so Friday I'm taking off, and then uh, Saturday and Sunday we getting lit. <laughs> Long story made short, look at these bundles, period. Um... 
Thursday, I don't know if I'll have the time to like stop and be like, oh, this is what I'm doing because I'll literally be at work. I'll come home, grab my suitcase, go back to work, and then I'll be on my way to my lion sister's house. Um, I'm really excited. I've been to Texas two or three times in my life, maybe three. Um, but mostly Dallas, not mostly, I've only been to Dallas. I've never been to Houston, so I'm really excited. Um, and I've never been to Texas as a drinking adult. <laughs> the last time I went to Texas, I was in high school. So I'm really excited to do like the eatery, good food, get lit, see some sights. Um, I think it'll be a fun time. I did not know my hair was this long. I feel like that sounds very like snobby of me and I don't like saying it out loud, but I seriously did not know my hair was this long. Um, the last time I straightened my hair was my senior year of college was it i think if not my senior year, then it was my junior year but it was like two or three years ago that i straightened my hair last and it was long i probably have i think actually i have pictures wearing this shirt it definitely did not cover the words i don't think so i got my hair straightened i like to get it straightened in the winter because if you know you know uh, humidity is not my friend so if I can get my hair straightened in the cold cold weather it's better for me to be able to sustain it that's how I was able to keep my hair straight for a month the last time I got my hair straight I kept it in for a month as well so like that's my timer and once like 30 days hit um, I, I wash my hair, go back to curly. I have seen so many videos on YouTube about how, and this is where I got the month thing, right? And actually this is the best time I've straightened my hair and was able to keep it this straight for this long. Um, I watched a bunch of videos. The best tips that I got were definitely wrap your hair at night um if you don't know how to do that i'm probably going to do it when i finish straightening my hair right now but you want to wrap your hair at night oil is a tricky uh concept for me because if it's too oily then it's going to look like mm -mm. <laughs> and if it's not oily enough like your hair is going to get dry, it's going to get damaged, and now that I got highlights, I like definitely, this is my first time ever getting color in my hair. I used to get rinses, but I've never bleached my hair, I've never gotten like a permanent color. I've only gotten a temporary rinse. So I don't want my hair to get dry. Uh, normally when my hair is curly, my hair tends to get dry fast, but I don't want um, my hair to get dry and break off. Oops, drop the oil. That is not okay. All right, at least the sink was clear. What was I saying? Oh, I don't want my hair to dry out. I don't want it to break off. So when I first got my hair pressed, I was putting oil in it at night before I went to bed, before I wrapped my hair up. And then I was, um, when I woke up, I was putting a little bit, so much less than I put in at night i put a little bit in to um just add some shine some moisture and i use two different oils to do that it's really like this one part um oil twice a day at night i was putting i'll show you uh fantasia hair polisher olive moisturizing shine serum 
this Miel Mint Almond Oil Blend. So in the morning, I put the almond oil blend on my hair to give it uh, some pal to last me through the day. And at night, I was doing the serum to like really give it some moisture and some substance. And yeah, I'm going to change the battery before the camera dies. All right, I am back. I try not to uh, touch my hair too much throughout the day. But other than that, I don't know. Me and my hair have been chilling. Um, oh, some tips. Stay away from any type of moisture in the air if it's raining if it's snowing make sure you have like something on your head uh layer that thing up to keep it away from anything that'll make it revert back to curly i saw some videos some people were saying like make sure if you're like watching tv and uh you have like your hand on your head like you know how you like lay like this you might want to watch because when your hands get sweaty like that's literally just moisture and water going into your hair and that's not helpful at all so that's one thing i try to do if i'm watching tv i try to put my hair in a bun or a ponytail get it out my face to keep it away from my hands and sweat and stuff like that don't sweat that's literally tip number one don't sweat don't get your hair wet or else it will curl up. I wish I could like kind of show the, the difference. But it feels like a whole new head. And it's crazy because how straight the ends are. The roots, especially in the front, are so puffy. It's insane. Um, but yeah, I don't. I don't even know why I was trying to give you guys tips on how to keep your hair straight. Literally, wrap your hair up at night. Wear scarves. Um, if you can't wrap your hair up, I think a high bun or a high ponytail is a, a safe alternative for that. Um, but protect your hair when you sleep i literally am all over the place i kind of just wanted to record to say hi to you guys and explain what's going on with me what's going on with my channel like i'll be back well i'm not i'm not going to be back i'm back now <laughs> like i just want to give you guys something good to watch um My best videos were videos that were about something, so I'm trying to keep it like that. Um, also, congrats to me because my first video in my breast series, my breast reduction series, uh, has gotten a thousand views. So I'm really excited about that. That's my third video to get over a thousand views. So I'm trying to keep finding how I can stay on that path stay on that trajectory but i also know that i've never given a curly video so this is i mean not a curly video straight hair video so this is what that is this is how i maintain my hair i try not to add any heat in i understand if you might need to but i'm very much against that when i go back to my curly state I don't want no heat damage. I don't want no issues. So in other news, since I don't have anything to talk about, <laughs> I love being a blonde. I feel like this was missing from my life. Again, I've never colored my hair. So this was a really big change for me, but one that I feel like was very necessary. I needed, I don't know, something to give me a little boost. Um, very plain with my hair um, I keep the same four and four might be a stretch probably three hairstyles in rotation so doing something drastic like this uh, I feel like a real adult 
And again, I'm really trying to only pass through my roots specifically, and I'm trying to only go through um, with the comb like twice per section because I'm not even going to keep my hair straight for long. This is like the last call for alcohol with this straight hair. But yeah, Mio products have been holding me down. You know what's crazy? Growing up, I always hated like when my ends got bumped and I would always be like, well, why can't I get my hair like bone straight? Because you know, like black people love bumping the end and it just never happened for me until I got older. And like different people start doing my hair or whatever. And now that I have it like super duper straight, this whole, well, not the whole time, but most of the time that I've had my hair straight this go round, I've been like, I want a curl. Like, I want a little bump or a little body wave or something. Like, it's been too plain for me. Why is this blinking? Like it wasn't on the whole time. I'm confused. Anyway, um, yeah, it's been really plain for me. But I also have been very lazy. Having straight hair is very convenient, especially after having curly hair for like two or three years. Like this is so easy just to wake up, brush my hair, and walk out the house. Um. So I haven't had a desire. But like I attempted to curl my hair, not with um, not with a curling iron or anything like a barrel, not with anything hot. I've attempted to do like rod sets, but I literally would put two in, like a flexi rod, two flexi rods in my hair, and then I'd be like, yeah, I'm not doing this, <laughs> and then I'll take it out. My hair's been straight the entire month. Um, and with that being said. I might, on Tuesday, try to just curl my hair with a barrel curl and then do like pin curls to like make them stay while I sleep. Just to change it up, last go round before my hair is not like this anymore. Um, yeah, I don't know, just, just to do something new because mm, curly hair is a lead straight hair is boring i'm ready to see how this looks with uh my natural hair my natural curls i'm very excited to see this i kind of um went through and packed my bag today I probably could have filmed that. I just be slipping. I be I be doing stuff that I could film, and I just I just be living in the moment. But I'm gonna get it together. Um, so yeah, I packed most of my things today. Mostly just my um, clothes that I'm gonna bring on this trip. And I'm excited. I'm not. I have not uh, purchased anything new for this trip. I'm trying not to do that this year. Mm, I feel like that's where you mess up. You go on a trip and you be like, I got to get my hair done. I got to get my nails done. I did get my nails done though. Um, I got to buy this. I got to buy that. No, no, no. Let's see what you got in that closet and pull it together. So that's what I did. I found some cute little pieces, put them together. I'm gonna make it do what it do. Um, very much taking Erica Badu's advice and packing lights on this trip. And therefore, a good time, not a long time. <laughs> so, I'm so excited, mostly for the food. And I feel like every time I'm on Twitter, and I see some 
really beautiful black man. I'm like, where do they live? So I go to their post. I mean, not their post. I go to their page to like, just see like, oh my God, like where is this made from? And they all be from Texas, Houston specifically. So for the past like three years, like definitely since um, the pandemic, because I've been on my phone more, on Twitter more, I've been like, yo, my husband definitely lives in Houston. Like, there's no doubt about it. He has to. Because all these men that be popping up on my timeline looking like God made them with all the time to spare, they all live in Houston. So, maybe I'll uh, finally meet my husband on this trip. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. I get so nervous seeing shedding with my hair straight, mostly just because of the color, not because my hair is straight. But um, I have to remind myself that it's way less shedding than I normally have when my hair is curly. So it's nothing to worry about. It's not because of the color. Hair is supposed to shed every now and then. get my kitchen real good one time. All right, I'm gonna run through from the top one more time. So now I can show y'all how I wrap my hair. Um, hopefully I have everything, my all my scarves, cause I use like three scarves to wrap my hair so that it doesn't come out in the middle of the night. I tend to like to do it with the side part because it's a little easier to, um, and I'm going to just do this because sometimes I do wear a side part. Alright, now I'm going to turn this off. Um, it's easier to manipulate your hair when it's in the side part rather than the middle part because you have to get your hair to one side when you wrap your hair. So, I'm going to just brush this a little bit more, make it a little flat, a little flat. So, I to go from the back, and I'm literally going to like brush around my head. Um, let this fall to the front a little bit. I find it, especially with my hair longer, um, well not even with the length, but my hair is also very thick so when my head is down I can kind of like manipulate the wrap versus if it's up I feel like gravity is going to make my hair fall down out of this little bowl shape but I did that so fast I hope <laughs> maybe I can go back and like put it in slow motion but you just brush it in a circle that's literally all you do and then you try not to move and <laughs> you grab a scarf I'm going to use a square scarf right now. Sometimes I use like a long rectangle scarf, but that's not in here. I don't even know where I put that scarf, but that's really, the rectangle scarf is my favorite, not the square. Fold it in the shape of a triangle, and I just like carefully lay it down on top of the wrap, so that way it doesn't mess up the shape. Now, my square is big enough to cover the back, and I'm going to press that down so I can, um, tie the scarf on top of it so you don't want so that way the hair doesn't move like I hope I'm making sense I'm literally tying it so that the back doesn't move 
off of the hair. I hate this feeling, so I'm going to untuck my ears. And then I have this little wrap thingy majig. It's like Velcro and satin. And I try to tuck these little ties so that way that's not um, tempted to come out. And I'll try to get this as tight on my head as possible. And I velcro that down. So this being tight keeps this on my head. And then um, I put a bonnet on. And then I tap out and go to sleep. That's how I wrap my hair. I just want to say thank you guys for sticking in there with me. Um, I know some months I got a little vacant in <laughs> some months i was very present so 2022 i'm trying to be a little bit more consistent i still don't know what i'm doing with this darn channel but i do know if i'm doing something exciting i definitely will take you guys along with me so again just bear with me i know my channel is all over the place between videos about worries videos about traveling videos about surgery but I'm just trying to find my niche still. So um, until I get on a steady path, I just want to say thank you guys for sticking in there with me. And hopefully there are more videos to come. Um, yeah, I really don't have much to say. But that's it. I'll see you guys at the next upload.